Section 19 of An Alphabet of History. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. An Alphabet of History by Wilbur D. Nesbitt. Shakespeare. Shakespeare, as all of us have read, once asked, What's in a name? An alias for the rose, he said, would make it smell the same. But Shakespeare was so frivolous. Excuse us if we say that it has always seemed to us his work was mostly play. As Shakespeare, 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 too, his signature is found. His autographs are much too few to be passed all around. This shows the cumulative worth of honest, solid fame. The bidders come from all the earth to buy his misspelled name. He dramatized the thrilling scene where Caesar met his end, where Casca, hungry, lank, and lean, and Brutus, Caesar's friend, stabbed swiftly with their daggers bright when Julius came in reach. Then Antony, thrilled at the sight, arose and made a speech. No chorus girls were in his shows, in them no social queens were given princely wage to pose and dignify the scenes. But there be those who say there are odd facts that can't be passed. For instance, oft we see a star with ciphers in the cast. And this leads many to declare that Bacon wrote the shows, a cryptic secret hidden there they say they will disclose. It may be that each drama hoards a Bacon cryptogram, for often, proud upon the boards, their struts and strides a ham. End of section 19. Recording by Bob Gonzalez.